Well, I'm joined here by Chris Neal, who we've actually come across at uh, the Royal Agricultural Shows in the past, and that's another story in itself, because that's very interesting what you get up to. But you've, you've got an event coming up on Thursday this week, and we're only recording on Tuesday, so we haven't got much time for people to kind of think about this if they haven't booked it, called Ideas Beyond the Farm Diversification. And that's exactly what you've been doing, of course. But you're trying to get the message out there. What, what's happening? That you, you sit up at um, the uh, Mountain View yep. Centre there, isn't yep. it? Yep. What, what's going on? So uh, we're, we're just trying to encourage people, um, farmers, and any anybody really that's interested in, in diversifying their business or creating an, a marketing opportunity or creating a business that's around food, farming, land, anything like that really that um, adds to to the Isle of Man economy, mm -hmm. to the tourism. Uh, so it's like these places that some farms have gone into having uh, opened it up for people to go around and do yeah, things, yeah. that sort of thing. Or yeah. it could be like, in fact, we should talk about your thing slightly then because uh, holding it back, but there's no point. You did traditional farming, and then you had a big change to tell us. Yeah, so um, me and one of my best mates are growing quinoa in the Isle of Man. Explain what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so quinoa is a seed which is high in protein um, it's what they class as a, a superfood and it's been growing in popularity um, originally from South America and now they've developed new varieties that can tolerate the UK climate. And therefore you found that diversification away yeah. from traditional yeah. markets and you had to do that or you wanted to do it? Uh, so, we, so we've done that um, out of interest really mm -hmm. and it's grown we're learning all the time <laughs> it's fantastic and some of that experience we want to share back with people that have got ideas so this is addressed at farmers who who have that thought that should we try something different primarily yeah because I think what, what's been interesting is that in the UK certainly at least 60% of farm businesses in the UK will have a diversified source of income and some of that is about developing activities on the farm, developing ideas, um, utilising buildings that aren't practical for modern agriculture. So like the, uh, your, your old stone traditional buildings, mm -hmm. they're no longer fit for purpose for modern machinery or livestock housing. So it's making use of those facilities. So you, you tell people how to do it or you just put in, in, put in touch with other people or how's it going to be working? So we've got uh, Caroline Dawson who works for Quain in North Wales. She works in that field, helping farmers in North Wales, and specifically at the moment, she's working with the sea fisheries team in North Wales to add value to their product and to market it and to come together, work collaboratively, develop ideas. Um, and you know, she's leading on some, on some really big, impressive opportunities for in North Wales for the sea fisheries to develop markets in Asia. Um, last week, she was in Scotland working up there um, she's flying from London tomorrow, so she she's all over, mm -hmm. um, all over the world really, w gaining ideas, gaining knowledge. The and next big thing, and isn't working it? with <laughs> and working with similar businesses, yeah. exactly what we've got in the Isle of Man, but in North Wales. So we've got Caroline coming over. She's going to bring some of that knowledge and experience, and uh, she's going to share that with us. And between the two of us, we're going to host this event to hopefully okay. help uh, local businesses to develop their ideas. Not much time to go, as I said at the beginning. So, if farmers are out there who haven't heard or haven't signed up. Is it too late? Can they no, turn up? No, they can. They can uh, turn up. Ideally, we would like them to sign up on uh, Eventbrite. That would just help us with catering, make sure that we've got enough room and uh, enough sandwiches for everybody. But uh, more the merrier. Everybody's it's great location. The Mountain View Innovation Centre as well to have it. Good place. Yeah, no, it's excellent down there. Well, we wish you well, and we will talk about your your other things because he's got other ideas as well, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. It, it, and that's what it's about. Yeah.